please like and subscribe for our channel growth. Sam Nunberg vows to refuse Mueller subpoena, what to know about the former Trump aide. Former Trump aide Sam Nunberg said he would not comply with special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into Russian meddling, and he wants the public to know it. He told The Washington Post on Monday that he would ignore a subpoena calling him to testify before a federal grand jury Friday regarding Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election and potential collusion with President Trump or his associates. Let him arrest me, Nunberg told the newspaper, adding that he plans to physically tear up the documents live on Bloomberg TV. Mr. Mueller should understand I am not going in on Friday. Nunberg forwarded an email to the Washington Post that appeared to be from Mueller's team requesting records of any kind between himself and Trump, as well as a handful of former White House staffers, including his personal friend and former Trump adviser Roger Stone. I'm not spending 80 hours going over my emails with Roger Stone and Stephen K. Bannon and producing them, Nunberg told the newspaper. Donald Trump won this election on his own. He campaigned his ass off. And there is nobody who hates him more than me. Preet Pereira, a former U.S. attorney fired by Trump, said he predicts Mueller's team already has all the emails they need from Nunberg. Even if you have someone's emails from other parties to them or from the service provider, you ask for them anyway," Barrera tweeted Monday afternoon. Among other things you learn a lot when people selectively disclose. It's unclear what would happen if Nunberg doesn't comply with Mueller's request, but the former Trump employee doesn't seem too concerned with any repercussions. Here's are some things you should know about Nunberg, and his colorful history with Trump. He was fired from Trump's campaign, twice. Nunberg was fired in 2014 after an unflattering piece about Trump ran in BuzzFeed. Nunberg was blamed by Trump for the bad press. Nunberg was rehired for the campaign, but was fired again by Trump in August 2015, after past racially charged Facebook posts dating back to 2007 were discovered. According to the New York Times, Nunberg degraded Rev. Al Sharpton's daughter and former President Obama with racial slurs on the social media site. He denied writing the posts, the Times reported. Trump sued Nunberg. Trump sued his former aide in July 2016 alleging that he violated a confidentiality agreement, according to The Hill.